this Sunday, we are not going to meet for our Hebrew reading practice session. Um, for those of you who uh, don't know what's going on, uh, my name is Nico. I live in Beersheba, Israel, and I teach people who speak English to, uh, to read in Hebrew. Um, I have the number one best-selling book on Amazon.com. It's called uh, Learn to Read Hebrew in Six Weeks. And uh, it's a really fun book and a really easy method that uh, teaches people to read Hebrew super, super fast. Um, and now we're doing, um, we're starting out calling it a six week session on, uh, on Hebrew reading practice. I'm doing it on HAPS and if you'd like to join, you can anytime. Just send me an email to learnhebrew.tv at gmail. Or you can go to my website also as learnhebrew.tv and uh, we can connect there. Hey, Bella, Arkansas. So this is actually really fun. Bella, Arkansas uh, lives in New York City and her daughter is in Jerusalem. And uh, we've never met, but I would like to meet one day. And her daughter is so sweet. She actually sent me a WhatsApp message asking me how everything's going in Beersheba. And to me, that is it's, it's the most incredible thing that uh, somebody in New York City that I've connected with over uh, social media, live broadcasting, uh, now has, uh, now I have, a, I'm, I'm growing a personal connection <laughs> with her daughter, which is like super, super, super cool. Um, Isa, nice to see you. Thanks. We're doing really, we're doing really good. Um, we are doing okay in Beersheba. We've had a, a decent amount of, uh, um, how do you call them in English? They are called uh, air raid sirens in English. We've had a decent amount of air raid sirens uh, from incoming rockets uh into Beersheba so um when you hear an air raid siren in Beersheba you gotta if you if some people have in their house uh a safe area um uh, that's protected from rockets but a lot of the neighborhoods just have a neighborhood shelter so that's what we have in our house we, we don't have a we don't have a personal air raid shelter in our house so we have to go to the neighborhood shelter like most of the residents of Beersheba so we uh we have to when we hear an air raid siren, we have to run down the block um, to the local neighborhood air raid shelter. And uh, we have about a minute and 15 seconds from when we hear the air raid siren to when we need to be, uh, to when we need to be inside, to when we need to be inside the uh, the shelter. And Bella in Arkansas, Bella Arkansas, not Bella in Arkansas, she's in New York, um, is saying that her daughter might come for visit, come for visit soon. Um, and her significant other is busy driving a tank now. So he's he sounds like he's active, uh, he's doing active service. Um, hopefully he will be safe and blessed and uh, have a peaceful, quiet Shabbat. Um, we are having a peaceful, quiet time <laughs> between the air raid sirens, which uh, they're, not, they're not terribly frequent. We had two in the middle of the night, which was kind of disturbing because you got to wake up all the kids and you got to wake them all up and and get into the bomb shelter uh you've got a minute and 15 seconds like i said before so it takes it takes a it takes moving really fast to to get a bunch of small kids who are deep asleep out of their beds and running down the block ariel thank you very much for your well wishes um so yeah we're we're heading into shabbat soon we're we're cooking up uh, all the yummy shabbat foods and I took a break to sit in the garden in the backyard to come on and say hi and remind everybody that uh, everybody who's been coming the last two weeks to the Hebrew reading practice uh, session that this Sunday we do not have one because this Sunday night is the holiday of Shavuot. Um, it's a holiday that celebrates our receiving the Torah. So we're we're going to be busy uh, having a special holiday dinner and um, and keeping the, all the laws of the festival. So I'm not going to be able to do a, a live Hebrew reading practice session. But the last two that we did were really fun, and I'm glad you guys um, uh, came on because it was it was really nice for me. So we'll see you, whoever's coming to the Hebrew reading practice session, we'll see you next Sunday, not this Sunday. And, uh, yeah, so, Bella, we got we to gotta get your daughter uh, organized with us. But it was so sweet of her. I don't know if she told you she sent me a WhatsApp just checking in on us. It was so so unexpected and so lovely and I've been getting so many messages from just around the world like Facebook messages and Instagram messages and all the good stuff 
asking how we are and hoping that we're safe and um thank god we are it's definitely not a a fun night activity but now but we we uh we are counting our blessings okay so guys i will see you another time and have a have a good one and uh, hopefully you will only hear good news from Beersheba. Bye.